So this is unit one, lesson five. The unit is called functions. The lesson is called composition of functions. What we're gonna learn in this lesson is that we can use functions in an equation. Um, so how do we do that? And how do we understand the notation of function composition? So we talk about function composition. What it means is we can use a function, in this case, g of x, as an input for another function. So um, instead of f of x, it's f of g of x. g of x is the input for the function f. What that means is we take an input of x, and that's an input for the function g of x. So it maps, um, so for example, one would map to a through g, and then that input for the output for g of x would be the input for f of x. Or so in this case, a would map to you know, theta. So how we write it, we can write, uh, we can compose a function two different ways. We can write it in this notation where uh, g of x is the input of f, or we can write it like this, maybe the more fancy way, f and then open circle g. Either way you write it, it reads f of g of x. And they mean the same thing. So some examples. So given these two graphs, graph f of x and graph g of x, I could find f of g of negative 4, and I could find g of f of negative 4. And those are going to be two different answers. If I find f of g of negative 4, negative 4 is my input for g. And then my output, g of negative 4, would be my input for f. So what that looks like is if we start from the inside and work our way out, I'm going to put negative 4 in for my function g. So on the graph g, I'm going to find negative 4. The output is positive, or sorry, the output is negative 2. So g of negative 4 is negative 2. And I'm going to pick negative 2 as my input for f. So on graph f, negative 2 has an output of positive 1. So we're going to say f of g of negative 4 is equal to f of negative 2, which is equal to 1. Now g of f of negative 4, so f of negative 4 is our input for g. We're going to take negative 4 and plug it into f first. That's going to map negative 4 to 0. So f of negative 4 has an output of 0. So we're going to use g of f of negative 4 is equal to g of 0. And so 0 is going to be our input for g. And it's going to map to an output of 3. So we found that g of f of negative 4 is equal to 3. If we look at it from equations instead of from a graph, we can find f of g of 0 and g of f of 0. And notice in the question I changed the notation, but don't forget, it means the same thing as uh, before. We just have two different ways of writing the same thing. So f of g of x, um, notice that the letters still appear in the same order. So we're going to put x into g first and then f in this case. It's f of g. So in this case, we're going to put 0 into g, and then output is going to be our input for f. So 0 is going to go into g, so we get g of 0. Well, g is 2x minus 2. So g of 0 becomes 2 times 0 minus 2. And that whole expression is going to be our, our input for f. Before we do that, we'll simplify the expression. 2 times 0 minus 2 is going to be 0 minus 2, which is just negative 2. And then f of negative 2, we're going to take negative 2 as our input for the f function, 2x squared minus 3x minus 4. And with our input of negative 2, we'll write 2 times negative 2 squared minus 3 times negative 2 minus 4. Do some calculations, we'll get 8 plus 6 minus 4, which equals 10. So we found that f of g of 0 equals 10. Now let's look at g of f of 0. So g of f of 0, our plan is to take 0 as our input for f, and our output of f of 0 becomes our input for g. So 0, we're going to plug into f first. So f of 0 is 2 times 0 squared minus 3 times 0 minus 4. And that expression will be our input for g. So we simplify that. That's going to be 0 minus 0 minus 4, which is negative 4. 
So our output for f of 0 is negative 4, which makes negative 4 our input for g. And then g of negative 4 is going to be 2 times negative 4 minus 2, just using our g of x equation. And that's going to be negative 8 minus 2, which is negative 10. So we can see that g of f of 0 is negative 10. Notice that f of g of 0 and g of f of 0 have different answers, positive and negative 10. So this question is a little different. So uh, we're going to find f of g of x. And we're not evaluating at a specific point, but what we're doing here is, because we're going to put an expression inside of an expression, simplify it to create a new expression that represents the composition of the original expressions. So taking two expressions and combining them into one. f of g of x and g of f of x. If we look at f of g of x, we're going to take g of x and put that as our input for f of x. So f of g of x, um, with g as the input, would be f of 2x minus 2. And so basically in our f function, wherever there's an x is going to be replaced with um, 2x minus 2 in brackets. So we'll have 2 times 2x minus 2 squared minus 3 times 2x minus 2 minus 4. So we've got some algebra work to do. We can simplify this. Taking care of our exponents first, 2x minus 2 squared is 4x squared minus 8x plus 4. And now we'll do multiplication. So we have distributed property here. Uh, and we have distributed property in our second term as well. So distribute the 2, we get 8x squared minus 16x plus 8. And if we distribute this 3, it's uh, we have a negative sign here too. So we can think of it uh, 3 times 2x is 6x, so we're subtracting 6x. And 3 times 2 is 6, so we're subtracting negative 6. Subtracting negative means we're adding 6. And then we have this minus 4 at the end. So now our new expression, 8x squared minus 16x plus 8, minus 6x plus 6, minus 4. We're now going to collect like terms. We have an x squared term. We have two x terms, negative 16 minus 6 is negative 22. And we have three constants. So 8 plus 6 is 14, minus 4 is 10. So we have the answer f of g of x can be represented by this function right here. Now if we do g of f of x, we're going to take f of x as our input for g. So f of x, 2x squared minus 3x minus 4 is going to be our input for g. So we're going to take our x in our g function and replace it with that expression for f in brackets we yield 2 times 2x squared minus 3x minus 4 minus 2. And we could do some algebra here, uh, distribute that 2, and then collect like terms. We get g of f of x equals 4x squared minus 6x minus 10. All right, so takeaways. So we now know what it looks like um, to do a function composition. And uh, we know how to say it. It's f of g of x. There's two ways to write it, and it means we're using a function as an input for another function. Uh, hopefully at the end of this lesson, after we've done some practice with the problems, you have a little bit more confidence with working with function notation, especially as it's getting more complex.